of Yorkshire Terriers. Richard, thank you very much for joining us. You, you were judging in this ring earlier. How yeah. did you find the Yorkshires today? A good selection, uh, quite a few different types. Um, teeth were good today, but movement was a little bit uh, dicey on one or two. And th this was your winner? This is my best of breed winner, yes. So tell us gorgeous. what you thought. Well, he was outstanding for fit for function. He, he, he moved, he showed his personality, his, his bomb-proof temperament, a real terrier. UK Toy has treated you well over the years, hasn't it? Well, actually, it's one of my favourite shows in England over, over several years already. Understandable. <laughs> a couple of best in show wins. Now, living in Spain, it's quite a long way to travel, and it seems a little strange that you, you've fallen in love with a breed from the north of England. How did you get involved? Well, that was some years ago. <laughs> I have been breeding and showing Yorkies for all 30 years this year. And I got involved with Yorkies because one of my friends in Costa Rica, I'm originally from Costa Rica, uh, so she had an accident and she asked me, please, can you help me with the care of the dogs and showing the dogs and uh, breeding everything? So I said, of course, yes. So that's why I got involved with the Yorkies. But right. before, I was breeding Schnauzer, miniature Schnauzers mm -hmm. and American Cocker Spaniels. Okay. Now, take us to the origins of the breed. Well, they had a dual origin because they were companion dogs, little tiny ladies' pets, but they were also ratters and mousers. Right. So you get bigger and smaller in the same litter. Right. The Yorkshire men and women did not write down what they did. Right. They, they kept their secrets to themselves. <laughs> but we guess that Maltese and Black and Tan Toy Terriers and Sky Terriers were all used in the mix. And the, the first thing that strikes you about a Yorkshire Terrier is this coat. Yes. Tell us about the coat and the preparation and everything that goes into making Mike look as good as he does. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, coat is in the breed is the, is the prime importance. It's a lot of work, but it's something that we do with, with love, you know, keeping it in, in good moisturizing condition. What we do is we use the papers or the plastics to, to wrap the coat. They break some coat, yes, but they also need that. I mean, they need yeah. to play, they need to be dogs before being a show dog. That red box, where, where has that originated from? That's from before the Kennel Club. Right. The breeders had their travelling boxes and they would throw a piece of red silk or red velvet over the box and if you put these dogs onto red, it enhances the colour, it makes them come alive. And when they're kept as a pet, for instance, this isn't the coat you'd usually keep them no, in. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, we're praying for the dogs to finish so we can clip them down. <laughs> and whenever we see you in Britain with a Yorkie, personality seems to be a major, major point. They, they all love what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because the breed has to be like this. They're toy terriers, but they're still terriers. And they are also companions. So they have to like people, they have to, to, to be friendly. They cannot be aggressive in any way, but not timid neither. You know, it's important for the breed to have a good character, to have a good mind. One thing that people generally assume a small breed is perfect for is families with children. Yes, I mean, the dog is perfectly normal to be with kids around. Uh, but the problem is not the dog, the problem is mostly the kids. Because of course, especially when they, when they are puppies, because the kids, especially the small kids, they want to take the puppy up, you know? And this high for a small Yorkie puppy is too high. The good thing about the breed is that they love exercise, you know? But they love to be with, with the owner. So if you go out, they will go out with you. If you are in the toilet, they want to be in the toilet <laughs> with you. If you are sitting watching TV, they want to be like this, watching TV as well. You know, they want to be with you all the time. It's a big companion, especially for people that they live alone. I think it's perfect for them. What about health considerations? Are there any concerns that breeders have specific to the breed? Yeah, well, as you have to be careful with the patellas. I'm very particular about the muscle and the head because short muscles with not much bones. It means not enough bones for the teeth to get the roots on it. So they still missing teeth when they are two and a half, three years old and it's not healthy for the dog because they are dogs that live very long. This is a lovely breed. I mean, it's very lovely companion. They are quite healthy, actually. I think they do wonderful pets. And, and also, I, the people who is interested to show them, I know it looks difficult at the beginning, but we were all beginners, beginners. sometimes. 
it takes some while, a little while to get used to it, but I think it's, it's a lovely bridge to show, and that's, we need new people always coming to the bridge.